Since I'm not passing out iPads, I need everybody to share their iPad with someone at your group. Make sure everybody in your group watches the video. You can pair up or you can all watch it at once, but I need everybody to watch the video and I'm not letting the substitute pass out iPads. Now the first thing that you're going to do after you watch the video is you're going to get a thousandths grid. Make sure they put your name on it. You're going to take that grid and you're going to color it in. You get to color it however you want to and you can be as creative as you want to, but I do have some rules. Okay, first rule is that you must use five colors. Exactly. You cannot use more, you cannot use less. You can use white as a color if you want to. Another rule that I have is that you have to color in the whole pixel with the same color. You can't have a pixel that's part purple and part orange. It has to be only one color per pixel. You can make shapes, you can make objects, animals, cars, sunsets, if you can get a circle. Um, I just used an abstract design. I started coloring, I started doodling, and that's what I came up with. So my rules are that you have to have five colors, um, the each pixel completely colored, And each pixel has to have a color. So if you don't use white as one of your colors, then every pixel will have a color in it. So this is my design that I came up with. I just started coloring, um, and this is what came out. It's not real pretty, but I was in a rush because I wanted to get it done in one class period. Um, or less than a class period. So you can see that my five colors are blue, brown, orange, pink, and red. Those are my five colors. Each pixel only has one color in it. If you notice, um, these thousand grid is grouped into, like each pixel is in a group of 10 pixels. And that's going to help you count it later. So you can count by tens, like if you use a lot of color up here, that's 10, 20, 30, 40 pixels right there that are blue. Okay, so you have to have five colors. And each color must be, um, or each pixel must have a color. Hey, this is where you do the math. So my colors that I used were blue, and I used a brown. There's not one. I'll just do right brown. Um, I used orange, I used red. And I used like a bright pinky color. Okay, kind of like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to count how many of your pixels are blue. So when I counted my blue ones, I counted there to be 450 out of a thousand that were blue and you go ahead and simplify that okay every zero that I have in the top I can take out one in the bottom that's dividing by 10 so now I have 45 hundredths that can be simplified by 5 and that makes 9 twentieths so 9 twentieths half of my picture is blue and then I'm going to change that to a decimal. And because I know my decimals so well, right here, 45 hundredths, there it is, 45 hundredths. If you don't have a fraction with a 100 in the bottom, then you can use what strategy with your reduced fraction? Tebow, top in, bottom out. Okay, 20 goes into 90 four times. I have 10 left over. Add a zero, bring it down. That's 120 into 100 
is 4,500, which is what I got. And then you're going to use the little Dr. Pepper method to get it from the decimal to a percent. So it's like this, one, two, now the decimal's over here, so that's 45%. 45% or almost half of my picture is blue. So that's the table you're going to do. Now, some things that you can watch out for when you're done is make sure that your uh, make sure that your um, percents add up to what? 100%. Okay? Your decimals need to add up to one whole because it's going to be one whole picture. And then your fractions will need to add up to one thousand thousandths, okay, or one whole. And you're going, you have to do five colors, so make sure that you have a color in each one. And you may use white as one of your colors. So I want you to enjoy doodling and coloring and just relaxing and being creative, but also you need to finish. A lot of you start things and you don't ever finish, so I want you to finish. Have fun.